How, how do you know you're having a migraine as opposed to just having a headache? Migraine is headache plus, so some, there'll be something else happening. You might be nauseated, you might notice you're sensitive to light, you might notice you're sensitive to sound, you might notice you're having trouble concentrating, uh, it's making you feel tired, um, afterwards you feel like you're, you're washed out. If you're having a migraine, nine times out, 90% of people will say that when they move about, shake their head about like that, their pain will be worse. Migraine is headache plus That's a whole range nice. of other things. Um, let's talk about triggers, because I think you've given us some, some triggers here on, on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> here they come. The build up. <laughs> it's the builder. All oh, right, so we've got alcohol, mm, uh, processed food, food. Uh, sleep. Meaning lack of sleep. Yeah, talk us yeah. through some of these. Well, alcohol, that's a pretty obvious one. Uh, sleep is alteration. So some people get their migraine when they don't get enough sleep. Some people will get it when they oversleep. So it's varying sleep yeah. patterns. Mm -hmm. By processed food, really the thing that's in food that's a bother is nitrates. Right. Um, these are things Additives. that are... Yeah, yeah they're, they're used uh, mm -hmm. sometimes to treat heart problems uh, and that oh. will produce headache. Uh, nitrates are particularly tricky. A couple of things I want to ask you. Yeah. Um, can you grow out of a migraine? Can you have had them and then not have them again? Migraine cycle, so very often people will have a bad period and then they'll get well for a while and it will come back again. And migraine tends to be reduced uh, after the menopause. So m many women will lose it after the menopause. Now look, we're going to have this phone in later on yeah. and uh, the main thing people will want, if you suffer from this, you just want to know, how do I get rid of it? Yeah. What are the treatments and is there a cure? Well, we're starting to learn much more about it with the research that uh, we're doing, and we're starting to de we're developing new treatments for the, for the for the attacks and new treatments for the prevention. And I think we'll probably speak about those during the phone-in. Okay, but, yeah. but the main thing is it can be treated. Oh yes, mm. people with migraines shouldn't sit at home in the dark, having their lives ruined. They need to go and seek care, seek advice from somewhere like the the Migraine Trust, um, seek advice from their GP and, and neurologist, and get out and do something about it.